All right, so let's move on from there. That's the, it. Okay. Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. That's uh, yeah. Now we're that's going to Louisiana. Louisiana Monroe ULM six and six last year, four and four in conference. Returning starters, they've got seven on offense, nine on defense. Number two most experienced team in the conference behind Texas State. Number three in the country. Head coach uh, Matt Viator. I think it's probably Viator <laughs> or somewhere think, around I think there. I, th- I would have said Viator. Uh, well, is it Viator or Viator? Uh, is like Viator sounds really. T O R. That's what. It, yeah, but he, he it, they're from Louisiana. Like uh, they. Oh, uh, would uh, if they're gonna say they're gonna Viator. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, yeah. that's just really good. You just give it the good, good. V and then Viator, <laughs> and you're, you're fine. <laughs> 14 and 22 <laughs> in three years. He was the head coach at McNeese State for 10 years. Uh, he has built a good foundation here. It, he knows I, I this like area. Him. I wanted them to be better than what I actually gave them. but um, They are so I did six and six last year. Pretty good. Didn't That's make right. a bowl game. Uh, quarterback Caleb Evans has had back to back 2,800 plus yard seasons. The entire starting offensive line is back. The worst passing defense in the country last year. Uh, two hundred forty-seven point one point or uh, yards per game. The secondary returns a lot of experience. Uh, pretty much everybody's back, as far as this team goes. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. No, I'll, I'll tell you this: the fifth, uh, uh, the fifth worst turnover margin in FBS last year. They were minus twelve. An experienced team should improve those numbers, and that's just right. turnover luck in and of itself should, should regress to the means. It should. Yes. It should go back. It should improve if you even got if a ever lot, so slightly. You won't get as many if you right. gave up a ton, unless your quarterback is the one throwing just a massive amount of interceptions. That that that's not. Now luck. he that's, he threw twelve interceptions last year. That's that was not crazy. after only throwing six the first season. No, that's a big jump, but that's not really crazy. I mean, right. one, one a game, it's not insane in the way we play football today. Exactly. That's that's People not throw too shabby. It too damn much. So. I've got them at five and seven Man. this year. I've got them four and four in the conference. Uh, I think their experience wins a lot of games, but I mean they're out of conference stuff. They they play Memphis, yep. they play at Iowa State, they play at Florida State, yep. and no, I don't think that any of those teams are going to be world beaters. Iowa State could be really no, we, good. Well, but we but, both like Memphis and Iowa State a lot. Yeah, a and lot. I think that Florida State has significantly more talent. I completely agree. So with that. all Florida State has to do is hand the ball off yep. every play. No, we 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 see this the exact same once again. I got them five and seven. I I wanted I wanted them to be a contender in this conference. I I think defensively they just lack. They do. I mean they're going to be one of those teams where this is a fun game to watch. If you catch them on the 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 Sun Belt Tuesday night Wednesday night games, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yep. They're going to put up points. The other team going to put up points. You know what sucks? They don't play a single one of those weeknight games. They play do at they, not? they play at Texas State on Thursday October tenth. Man, they used to, the Sun Belt always has those. Now the Sun Belt does games. have you know. It's just not them. It's just not them. Well, they're like, a fun team to watch too, man. Yeah. We, so, well, other than that Thursday night game, I mean, unless you're just finding some type of streaming service, which you get all the time anyway, like you're just not watching those guys. I mean, you you got South Alabama at Troy on a Wednesday. You've got Louisiana at, at uh, no, sorry, Appalachian State. At Louisiana, so on you're going to have they're doing the big boys against one another a lot, and they just don't see Monroe as one of those teams. They do not. That's probably fine though. I mean, I, I don't know that whoever's making TV schedules is wrong for that. They're right, right in the middle between the haves and the have-nots. If there was a, a like a middle class of this conference, yeah, they're that's, it. Uh, they're it, right? I mean, I've, I've got them four and four in the conference. Yeah, I mean that's so. that's it. All right, that's going to wrap up the Sun Belt West. As always, go to winningcureseverything.com and uh, and head over to betnow.eu. We'll see you guys next time. It's time Thanks for, for checking rundown. out Winning Cures Everything. If Remember you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast you app. Like Visit Facebook the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook you can or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us. G-I-A-N-N-I-N-I. You can also email the show, that's winningcureseverything at gmail.com, and we now have a voicemail line. That number is 551-226-9899. 
If you want to call and bash us for talking bad about your favorite team or praise us or just tell us about how awesome your team is doing, leave us a voicemail. That number again is 551-226-9899, and we may toss it on the show. Thank you for supporting this show, and until next time, have a good one, guys. Hey, don't forget, subscribe to the Winning Cures Everything podcast on iTunes and make sure you leave a review. For every 25 written five-star reviews we get on iTunes, we are donating to St. Jude's Children's Hospital and Le Bonheur's Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. So subscribe and review on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and all your favorite podcast apps. Remember, the Winning Cures Everything podcast.